or make sure that our audience can can hear everything that's going on. We got the mics up in the motherfucker kicking in. Man, Guala, what's good, family? Yo, what it is? What's hey, up? Hey, man, I can't call it, man. We over here, man. We we chilling. We just rocked out real hard uh, to my sis. We celebrating her birthday. Uh, she an artist so, too, so. I'm gonna have a birthday to you. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, Akuna Matata, Guala said happy birthday. All right, man, you make sure you follow her, man. Y'all might want to do some music and shit together. She dope as fuck, and I know you five foot too. So, man, we need to make that happen. Oh yeah, we can do that. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Already. So the first thing I want to do is uh how about you introduce yourself, you know, like let everybody know who you are, where you from, and where they can find you on social media. Okay, uh what up? You know what I'm saying? I go by under guy Guala for short. You can just call me Guala. And um on all platforms you can find me at under guy Guala, XX under guy Guala. Uh Instagram, um Twitter. And that's really about it, for real. That's so, what everything is. Word. So, I mean, tell everybody what it is that you do, of course, man. You know, they, they don't know that you want the hottest artist out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> <laughs> let them know. Let them know what it is that you do and where they can find your music at. Yeah, man, I rap. I've been rapping since I was eight years old. I ain't start recording until I was like 13. Um... You can find all my music on iTunes, uh, Spinrilla, Spotify, just all platforms. Just type in Under God Guala, and you're definitely going to find me. Word. That's what's up. So, um, did you come from a, a like an artistic family? You you say you started rapping at it. Like, that's a young age to start rapping yeah. and then to get in the, into the studio. Did you have, like, uh, a family that was in the music and stuff like that, too? Well, it was like my mama. My mama, she wasn't really like into it, but my daddy, he was. But see, I was telling people my daddy was a rapper before I even met my daddy. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know who my dad was, but I was telling everybody, I was like, my daddy a rapper. My daddy rapped for some reason. I don't know, you know how little kids do. That's just what I was telling everybody. And then years later, I met him. I met him when I was like, I met him at 13 and found out he really was a rapper. Oh, you know what wow. I'm saying? <laughs> That's what's he like. really so the way how I feel in the music, that it's just that's just what I wanted to do for some reason. Like everybody else around was playing football and all this, but I just wanted to do music like from the jump. That's just all I told everybody. I wasn't like I want to be a football player. I want to be a rapper when I grew up. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it was. So, I, just, I always wanted to do that. Would you say that it was something that was just kind of innate in you, or were you like inspired through? Through something, did you listen to a lot of music when you were a kid? Yeah, I did. I did listen to a lot of music, and uh, it was really Michael Jackson that did it for me. Oh, he'll do it. <laughs> yeah, it was just crazy how like, I just used to see how I used to see everybody fall out in the crowd. I used to be like, Dang, I want that so bad. You know what I mean? I used to yeah. be like, I want that so bad. I don't know what he did, what he said to them folks. Man, I don't know, but I need, I need it so bad, and that's I've been at it ever since. Or so describe your creative process uh for us. Like how do you get going? Uh in th- in the studio. Do you write in the studio or you write prior to? I mean like see sometimes sometimes I write the song before I go, but really I like to just show up and then catch a vibe. You know what I'm saying? I like to show up, catch a vibe, and then whatever come out, that's what we're going with. Okay. I dig that. <laughs> So, how would you describe your music? Uh, like it's kind of like like storytelling. I think my my music is like story storytelling. But like, if you don't been through a lot, then like you'll be able to relate to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it can fix my music can fix a lot of problems. That's what's up. That that, that says a lot right there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so what's your main inspiration or motivator? Uh, my son, it gotta be my son. It gotta be my son. That's, that's just, yeah. God I mean, at first, it, first it was family, but stuff happened over time. I lost family, so all I got is my son. So, it's how, just how him. old is he? He, uh, he just turned, he just turned eight months. Oh, he's a baby. Early. 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 Okay. That's all I got, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, my mama died, my sister died, my brother lived in Montgomery, so it's like, 
You know what I'm saying? That's just what I got. Hey, look, well, hey man, if, if that's your motivation, that's what keep you uh driven and going every day. I think that's that's the best motivation a person can have right there. Mm-hmm. You know, ain't ain't no letting up, especially at eight months uh oh, old, man. Ain't, ain't no letting up. You got you got a long, <laughs> a long way to go, family. <laughs> you got your work cut out for you. Okay, that's cool. I'm good for the next 18 years on hey, love. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what it, what it. So, what artists do you most admire and why? Uh, Michael Jackson. It got Michael Jackson just the most. It's, like I got to say when I saw how how them girls and stuff was reacting on stage to him, how they used to just fall out before he even came. He didn't right. do nothing. He didn't was screaming, losing their mind. <laughs> oh, he didn't was pose. Yeah. And everybody crazy. So, it's, bro, yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want right now. Okay, and so, Michael Jackson, and so, Michael Jackson story. That's what I want right there. I feel that. So currently, when you go and you perform, you got you got women like uh fading and screaming and throwing you their penny drops. <laughs> <laughs> they have, they have like oh. in Tallahassee. Tallahassee. That's was where I'm from. That, that was that was the weirdest one I ever went to. Man, they been pulling out of my head everything. That's how I pulled. Man, that was crazy. I know pulling, they were pulling on your head. Word. Yeah. Yeah. She said, "What? What? Yeah. Your mic on? I'm from Tallahassee, Florida. Oh my bad. Never mind. Oh, wait, what's up? Look, bro. She like the stars. She probably was pulling on your and She too, bro. I was. Where you was at? 2020 prime time. Where you was at? What was that? Uh, Baja. What is that not what I started with? I said yeah. Baja. Okay. Baja's Beach Club. Yeah, with the strip clubs. Yeah, I've had some times on those clubs. How would you say your career has evolved since like you very first started? I mean, at first I started. I think it evolved pretty good because at first it's like I I was recording. I was recording myself in my room. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was performing in front of like five people. You know what I mean? Like now it's. It just done grew way bigger than what what was kind of expected. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's kind of expected. So yeah. So our main topic tonight is um, pretty much like what you feel it it takes to really gain traction um, in the music industry. You know, like starting to get notoriety, getting listeners, getting followers, and things like that. Like, like what do you think it really takes? Well. What I what I started noticing is people don't really want to hear no more. You get what I'm saying? They don't want to hear. They want to see. So it's like what I what I be telling people like little dudes in my hood stuff. I be like, they be like, hey bro, listen to this, listen to this. I be like, yeah, that's that's real hard. But I be like, I ain't gonna lie to you. People ain't gonna want to listen to it. They don't want to see it. So shoot a video. You know what I'm saying? Videos. Videos is what's gonna get it. Don't nobody like if you a new artist. Don't nobody really care about an MP3. You know what I'm saying? They want to see it. They want to see you on it. So it's like videos. You feel me? Like that's what I tell everybody. I be like, bro, videos. I be like, nobody said no MP3 no more. MP3s is dead. You know what I'm saying? Kids on YouTube. Everybody on YouTube. It's videos, bro. That really make a whole lot of sense. Like for real, <laughs> a whole lot of sense. Cause you're absolutely <laughs> right. I mean, people send me that music all the time, and I be like, bro, I don't, I don't got time to listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like a movie. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Yeah. That's that that's that's very real. So do you have any um like a, a background as far as music go? Did you play any instruments? Was you a part of a band, a choir, or anything of that sort? Um when I was in well the choir stuff, like you know, almost everybody, we all had to do that when we was babies. <laughs> it, it ain't got no choice. Go to, <laughs> go to church Thursday, Wednesday, yeah, Thursday, and right. Sunday, so and get up. Oh so, yeah, we did that. But um, I played the snare drum when I was in middle school. Okay. That was just that was about that was the only instrument I was really able to play was the drum. How many projects so, have you put out as of yet? Uh. So. Well, the only ones that I really recommend that I recommend you to go listen to <laughs> is uh, 
Because the other ones, they too old. You feel me? Like, no, I, mean like, bro, I would just bounce some music from like six, seven, eight years ago, bro. Everybody was up in here vibing like a motherfucker, bro. Like, I, so so how old it is, don't, it don't really matter. Now, don't get me wrong. If, if you've grown a lot and you feel like, ah, well, that was just like a bit for me, then I, I kind of feel that. But, man, exactly. my, good music is timeless, though. You know that from listening to Michael Jackson, bro. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I be trying to do. But it just to me, it's like the sound. You know what I'm saying? It's like I don't sound like that no more. I don't. I don't grew I up. That. My voice grew up. You know. But I got I got uh stuff out on Spinrilla. I got a uh, tape called Change Lanes out on Spinrilla. Okay. So uh, that's like the latest one. That's like one of the latest ones. What's your favorite song <laughs> that you've recorded? Uh, see, my favorite song ain't, even, ain't nobody even heard it yet. See, oh, people haven't yeah? even heard Because I'm getting ready to drop my tape. I'm going to drop a uh, tape, so. Oh, well, look, I'm going to just let you know that we like them exclusive over here at All Black Radio Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So if you send me a check, or, uh, I mean, a, a track that haven't been released. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, we always talk about money. Yeah, send me a check. I want that, too. But no, if you send me the track. <laughs> If you send me the track that hasn't been released, bro, I'll put you in rotation for free. All right, man. So send that thing over because we like to have shit that other people don't have over here on Black Radio Atlanta. All right? Uh, we have to work on that. We all can right. work on that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so tell me, what do you enjoy most about doing music? I like to hear people reaction, like the reactions that they have because it's like, see, first, one thing about it is once you tell people that you're a rapper, see everybody saying they're a rapper. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, ain't nobody really trying to take you serious when you come up saying you're a rapper. You feel me? But it's like, once you break it down to it, like, nah, I'm a real rapper. Like, this is my life. Like, this is what I do type. Right. And then like, oh, and then like, that look that they give you after they listen to it, where they like, ah, oh, man, you harder than, this, this, what I, this ain't what I was expecting. You know what I'm saying? I was expecting some trash. I wasn't expecting you to actually be good. You know what I'm right. saying? Was, <laughs> but was they realize that I'm actually good? That's that's what I like. You say that's right the best now. part. I feel that. I feel that. So, um, what's the best part of being an artist? And so, when I say that, I mean like, do you enjoy going to the studio the most? Going out and performing the most? You know, all the wonderful perks that you get when you're in the industry. Like, so what's what's your favorite part about it? The free stuff. Is that the free stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth, man? We love the free stuff, don't we? Yeah, the free stuff. I mean, I like meeting all the people and stuff, but I just know they only, they only have one interest. You get what I'm saying? That's they only true. have one. You know, we ain't going to talk about all that, but you get what I'm saying. Oh, they only so interest. Hey. How do you feel the... Um, well, first, tell everybody where you're from. I don't think we 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 said that. I'm from uh I'm from a small town called Op Op Alabama O P P Alabama. It's at the very bottom of Alabama, like an hour thirty away from Montgomery type. It's at okay. very very. Okay, so coming from a such a small place, uh, like how is the open mic the uh, performance scene there? Like back home. Oh, so you're not there currently? No, 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 no. I'm not there currently right now. I'm in uh, Columbus, Georgia right now. Oh, man, you you down there at, at the bottom of us. Okay. Yeah. How, you right like, how you like Columbus? Columbus straight. I like Columbus. It's straight, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My god brother, he from down there. Um, uh, he he do tattoos and graphics and got a clothing line and stuff like that. But it's a lot of uh, a lot of great things that come come up from from down there or whatnot. I mean, that's yeah. still kind of small though, too, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Columbus. I mean, it's bigger than what I'm from. True. You hear me? True. Bigger than what I'm. But it's like, yeah, it, it is. It is kind of small. So it is kind of. small. I like it. so is it hard getting uh your music out? I mean I know the internet really changed the game, but as far as like you know, uh being a local performer, do y'all have a lot of places to go and perform at? Is there a lot of promoters that support indie artists down there? Yeah, 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 yeah. They have a um they have like they have a couple open mic stuff for people and uh showcases that they be having around here. It's right. a couple of them. I'll be seeing about them. You know what I'm okay. saying? But I don't really be going no more. But, because I try to, like, stay away from showcases. You know what I'm saying? But, 
Why, why would you say that is? Why, why you stay away from showcases? It's just like, I don't get me wrong. I like showcases. It's just be yeah. certain ones that I like. I okay, that. certain no, ones. I, I feel the that. Because uh, it's that, funny, the the the, the uh, music industry and these performance platforms. I mean, it's really funny depending upon the promoter and depending upon the venue and, and right. all that. And I, I mean, I know right. like some people just be throwing stuff to take people money. So, <laughs> it's like some people, it's like the like once you pull up, it's like the only people that's there is the people that's performing and the people that bought that they bought with them, which are gonna leave as soon as they perform. So it's like if you don't perform first, you're not gonna get heard by anybody. Right. So it, it, you know what I'm saying? Those are the showcases where it's like, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't even want to waste my time. Right. You know what I mean? I don't want to waste my time because I feel like I'm just rapping to nobody. Word, I feel that. Like, hey man, not to cut you off, but shout out to Crushing Visuals, man. Crushing Visuals just checked in, man. That's my people, one of our official sponsors on Blast Radio Atlanta. Y'all make sure y'all go and support everything that she got going on. She's one of the dopest videographers out here in the A, bro. So if you ever need some videos and shit like that, she definitely travel, man. She got she got all the equipment, she got that for real for real deal professional shit. So uh that's that's a that's a real good link. Um so you say you don't really do showcases. Have you participated in like music competitions or anything like that? Uh, I have, I have, but I will do a showcase. It just has to be an official showcase. You know what I'm saying? Like I have to, I have to actually be showcasing to people. You know what I'm right. saying? It gotta be like, a, 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 something that's gonna be fruitful for you. It has to have a, I mean, right. it has to have a purpose. Right. Yeah, I'm on some yeah. I'm on some Oh, and then it's like, like these people leaving, these people got their back turned, these people leaving yeah, too. For real. People, for real. I, I definitely, I definitely feel that. So, um, you said you got a project that you're working on, it's gonna be dropping soon. How about you tell everybody about that? Uh, yes, the project is called Windy Sun, it's not after my, my mama. Um, I got couple features on there. I got Mooski on there. I have uh, I love Mooski! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm okay. laughs> you gotta excuse her. This 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 her first time being on the radio, okay? <laughs> no, but that's what's up. That's what's up. So you got somebody at least aim hey, somebody that's known around there, okay? Yeah, yeah. Where? I got, I got it. Lit though. No. Okay, okay, and so uh, when would I be dropping in on what platforms? See, right now, I don't have no date because I'm still sort of kind of building, you get what I'm saying? Because okay. I'm trying to turn it into like a movie because I feel like this project is going to be probably like the the first project I have that everybody just like pay attention to, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm trying to make sure it's perfect and right. So like I ain't trying to have no flaws, no nothing. Right. So I you got no date yet because I'm still cooking on it. You yeah. he right? I feel that. Hey, look, man, shout out to TZ the DJ. TZ the DJ say he can't wait for Wendy's son to drop, all right? You know, he's been in our uh, in the live showing love uh, to you or whatnot. So shout out to them. Uh, is there anybody that you want to, like, send a special shout out or a special thank you to that, you know, uh, assists you along the way? Yes. Um, Mercy. Mercy. Uh, my label, Merciful Sounds, them, um, wow. all my fans, of course, uh, and, and, and my special somebody. Uh oh, special somebody. Shout out to yeah. your special somebody, man. Shout out to the KID, too, man. Eight months <laughs> old, you know, um, a whole, a whole, I mean, you got a whole lot of love things going on over there, man. <laughs> Ball, they get a whole lot of love, y'all. Said shout out to his special someone. He not he not giving no names. Okay, you see how he said yeah, special someone. It, real, he got but, me but you know you know how that go. That's that's what that's what you say when you got like three four special someone. That right? You 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 you, 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 you don't forget, forget about nobody. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Everybody who watched the show, they know that I have a funny sense of humor. But no, for real, man. Shout out to your special That's someone amazing. and legit, man. Shout out, shout out to the little man. Uh, uh my cohort said, uh, do you sing or you just rap? Nah, I, I actually do both. That's what I want to hear a little something live. Oh wait, man, no, we're gonna crank into this track.
fact, matter of fact, man, not to cut you off, but uh, man, I didn't move so far along into the interview and shit. Oh, we didn't even play the song. So uh, has a nice rich tone. Like, uh oh, know. nice rich tone. Uh oh, she over here. She being flirty with you, Guala man. He just says, uh, "Don't do that." Somebody. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just. Just joking. I told y'all I got a warped sense of humor. Jesus. <laughs> hey, look, man. <laughs> Shout out to my fam, man. Under God Guala checking in on a Zoom call, man. This track right here is called On Call. So y'all check this out. If we call it a city, it's not. No, on the background. If I get too comfortable, I'll say the wrong thing. Why would I hate on y'all? Let me show you. 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 We got some goddamn roses and shit up in this motherfucker, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they going they going up for you, bro. So, hey, man, y'all make sure y'all check out that uh, Under God Guala on call. All right, y'all. I mean, y'all definitely can hear it on Blast Radio Atlanta. Uh, all y'all do is check in the Live 365, or you can visit our website, onblastradioatlanta.com. And we're going to put y'all in the game. Y'all already know what it is. Man, we got some of the hottest independent artists from all over the motherfucking map checking in. On Blast Radio Atlanta, you feel me? Uh, so uh, tell me what you feel is next for you, like as far as uh, your music career and everything go. Um, right now we uh, right now we doing the, the uh, She a Runner tour right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we just taking everything like at a day at a time type, cause like we try not to get ahead of ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Try not to get caught up in all the artists or whatever so um, the excess the excess all those things that come along with the uh with the industry i feel yeah, that yeah, yeah we try not to get caught up in all that so you know what I'm saying? we try not to even move 
move too fast ahead of ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but it's a lot coming though. You feel me? It's a lot coming. You just gotta, gotta pay, yeah, pay attention, man. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta uh, tap in with uh, that's double X. That's XX under God Walla. Uh, make sure y'all tap in with Merciful Sounds. And, uh, I mean, y'all be plugged in to hear everything that my family got going on. I man, Angel Heart say she loved the song. So, you know, she felt like the shit was dope, man. You got a, uh, a lot of great things coming. And we're going to stay tuned for that, man. Uh, we definitely, definitely want you to come back and check us out. Before we let you go, I want you to tell everybody again who you are, where they can find you on social media, and where they can find your music. All right, it's Guala, under God Guala. On social media, you can find, on Instagram, it's XX, under God Guala. On um, Twitter, it's under God Guala. Um, you can find my music on all platforms. Just type in my name, under God Guala. It's simple to spell, under God Guala, G-W-A-L-L-A. So y'all make sure, man, y'all tap in. Uh, shout out to my fam, man. I appreciate you, Jason, for throwing that uh, in the comments. Man, we're going to get everybody who tuned in right now to come and follow you, fam. You keep doing your thing, man. We appreciate you being here. Uh, you definitely got support over here, you know, in Atlanta on Blast Radio. Uh, so, hey, you know what it is, family. Keep doing you. I love, appreciate it, appreciate it. Already, already. So look, man, we're going to play that track one more time as we go out, man. Y'all check out that Under God Guala, man, on call. If we problems, nigga, we ain't got no baby hate on each other. Turn that up. Turn that up. Crazy ass nigga. <laughs> Why would I hate on y'all? It's no money for us all. And I never throw salt on my dog. I know those salt on my dog. I don't give a fuck if you fuck with me at all. Young nigga, I still wanna see you fall. Young nigga, I still wanna see you fall. But I got myself, I will not turn on y'all. You get away from your phone, cause I ain't gon' call. I wanna see me fall. Shoulda did it, but I gave a bitch my all. My night homie, he turned out to be flawed. I fuck around with love. Fuck with nigga, I got a girl to clip in my car. Fuck a bitch, I got a hundred bitches on call. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole all in the feelings, I won't hit a rock. Yeah, yeah. Hit the city with a jump and told him I'm a ball. Yeah. I'ma run it up until the money stack it up tall. I don't need a nigga, I'm cutting all these pussy niggas out. And it hard, but it really soft. I never had it on nobody, that's not in my DNA. I will not wait on nobody, don't care if you get what you say. Even if I call on God, I don't think he'll answer the phone. Even if I go knock on the door, I don't think he'll be at home. Yesterday I thought of my sister, still can't believe she gone. Probably probably be taking you right. You don't even believe you wrong. Why would I hate on y'all? It's no money for us all. And I never throw salt on my dog. I never throw salt on my dog. Don't give a fuck if you fuck with me at all. Y'all nigga, I still wanna see you fall. Y'all nigga, I still wanna see you fall. But I got myself, I'm gonna turn it off. You get away from your phone, cause I ain't gonna call. Y'all won't see me fall. Should've did it, but I gave a bitch my all. My night homie, he turned out to be flawed. I'm part of fuck around with love. Fuck a nigga, I got a third of clip in my car. Uh, uh, fuck a bitch, I got a hundred bitches on call. Uh, uh, that's the whole all in the feelings, I won't hit a rock. Uh, uh, hit the city with a jump, I told him I'm a ball. I don't even play like that. So why would you say when you speak? I don't even play like that. I wanted to take the beat. Ain't going outside today, I drop my knees and I cry today. You won't kill my vibe today, I walk around with a smile and face. These niggas get jealous so fast. I ain't even gotta make my move. I never gonna make me mad. I'm just really trying to keep my cool. I'm just really trying to get me back. I don't really wanna make no friends. Cause everybody know how that is. Why would I hate on y'all? It's enough money for us all. And I never throw salt on my dog. I never throw salt on my dog. I don't give a fuck if you fuck with me at all. Y'all nigga, I still wanna see you fall. Y'all nigga, I still wanna see you fall. But I got myself, I will not turn on y'all. You get away from your phone, cause I ain't gon' call. Probably won't see me fall. Shoulda did it, but I gave a bitch my all. My night homie, he turned out to be flawed. Hard to fuck around with love. Fuck a nigga, I got a third clip in my car. Uh, fuck a bitch, I got a hundred bitches on call. Uh, next to all in the feelings, I won't hit a rock. Uh, uh, hit the city with a jump, I told him I'm a ball. Uh, Yo, it's your girl, Big Show. When you tuned in to the True Session, you don't get no realer than this. Yo, Walla, man, I appreciate you, G. We definitely, man, we going to tap back in with you. You have a good night, family. All right, you too, man. Appreciate you for having me. Already. 
Boom. Hey, look, man. Under God, Guala. Y'all make sure y'all follow.